No means no. You may have heard of it. It's an anti-rape slogan, but today one group used it to bring attention to Austin's affordable housing issue. KITV's Melanie Lofton joins us live. And, and Melanie, this is an issue we're all going to be voting on come November. Yeah, it is. And the references to rape sound extreme, but that's the comparison one group made right here this morning. It says the city of Austin is trying to rape voters by having it vote on the affordable housing bonds again after it said no. Well, the other side says that's just offensive. A rape whistle, the new symbol of the Austin affordable housing debate. No means no. Travis County Taxpayers Union Treasurer Don Zimmerman recalls voters rejecting the affordable housing bond in 2012. We're concerned that they just say, well, why bother voting? The Keep Austin Affordable campaign argues this is why it matters. That's my rule. Three-year-old Leah just moved into this apartment with her mom, 20-year-old Anissa Gomez. I've never had anything that's like nice. As a teen mom, Anissa found herself in an abusive relationship, but unable to live at home. With the help of the Jeremiah program, she's heading in the right direction. In five years, you know, I'll be able to actually get my own like, you know, apartment and be independent and self-sufficient and have, you know, a good career. The bonds will help other nonprofits get houses to those who can't afford them. And Elliot McFadden contends the need is great. We have over 38,000 uh, low-income families who can't find affordable housing. We can't afford to wait around and not address this issue. But at what cost? It's an outrage because the whole point of this is authority to have unlimited tax increases to pay for new debt. There will be no tax rate increase. So it's both tasteless and, in, and inaccurate. What will be accurate is the decision come November 5th. Advocates argue that the wording on the ballot last year was vague and that's why it failed. This time they say they hope voters understand the issue and approve it as they did in 2006. Live in downtown Austin, Melanie Lofton, KITV News.